So we know all about instancing and you create this wonderful layout. And uh, now your supervisor comes in and like, hey man, we need to uninstance, like get, get editable geometry of, of this, this part. Like there'll be some simulation explosion or, or whatever. And you're like, okay, no problem, no problem. And uh, then, then you realize that there's no like built-in tools for it in, in Houdini, like no straight out of the box solution. And, and you're gonna look like, this guy so then you, you decide okay I'm screwed I'm, I'm gonna do it by the hand so you start uh, replacing each and one of piece each and one of these pieces by hand and then then your supervisor comes in and he's like yeah man we need to do it for another 10 like shots and um, and and then layout change and and you'll be like you be like this guy but don't worry, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how, to, how you can do it procedurally so you look like this guy in the end. So first of all, I would, I would like to give credit to Short and Sweet 3D. With, I watched this tutorial and it was a great starting point for, for this tutorial. So this is one, what we're going to do. Uh, this scene is actually pretty simple. I have just some instances and then I'm instancing, instancing them like using this instance node. So first of all, we need to go in here and split the points that we want to uninstance. I'm, I'm using a split node for it and it's just basically like a, 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 like a blast node but you know instead of having like this complicated setup it's it's all it's all in one and then what it does like you select some points you just select some points for example this one and uh, on, on one hand you have you have the points you didn't select and the points you did select so very handy too and then then you just lay out some normal geo node and this is one, one what we're going to do like there are two options there are two options for this like you could use a for each loop which looks a bit more complicated but actually it's much more simple and then then, then this like uh, copy copy stamping which is no longer recommended so it's it's in here just in case you need it for some reason but i don't recommend using it and how how this works is so we feed in the the points we, the instances we want to uninstance and then we're just reading the as you know, every 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 instance point has this instance attribute, which or it should un unless you're using all, all on all the instances just one one object. In this case, you don't need it, so it has to have this attribute, and this is actually very convenient for us because it's it's the path to to the instance to the asset we're, we're instancing like in my case these these guys so if if you plug in this path to to here like uh, for example let me show you If, if I would want to make everything just one object, uh, for example, this uh, rib cage, I could just go in here and you know, it's just object skeleton rib cage. All right, so the path, let me just take the path from here. So, oh yeah, maybe, maybe I just need this one. So now, as you can see, everything is just copying, we're copying to points, just everything that is from the object merge node. 
Now, if, if we have uh, different instances on, on our points, like we need to do it automatically. So that's what this, uh, this little script is for. And what it basically does, it just reads reads the reads the instance path from this specific point. And how you can set it up, it's actually very easy. So you you create a for each point uh, loop. Now we create a metadata. This will enable us to to know at which which point we are, like at which loop we are. Now you just create some copy to points. Let me just connect it like this. And you click, create an object merge node. Plug it in. You take the input from here. And now in here you just paste this uh, this line of code. Just make sure that this this one object merge one is it, it matches this name, and uh, this one actually we need to match it this name. So and now now if, if I would just delete it, you would see it works. And that, that's it, so simple. Simple as that. Now the copy stamping works like this. You create your own variable. You, you're reading the point number that comes in. And in here, you just use this, this line of code. So basically the same, but there's only one difference that we're just getting the number of the point we're instancing, uninstancing in, in a different way. And the final proof, as you can see, now we can just select what we want and deform our geometry the way we want. And now you know it all, you're the king of uninstancing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.